moon. So do you remember what you have to do? Yes, ma'am. We have to decorate our class. Absolutely correct. See this. I have a toren or a decorative door hanging in the shape of a triangle. Vinny and Binny, both of you will complete this toren in this very pattern. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Binny, keep putting glue on the triangles and I will keep pasting them like this. Okay. okay. All right. It's looking really good. Oh, Binny Binny, look at this toren carefully. The triangle shapes have been put together in a special pattern. These are patterns of shapes. Patterns of shapes? Yes, friends. In today's video, we will learn how to make patterns by repeating a special sequence in which different shapes are organized. Yes, yes. ma'am. In this toren, first triangle is red and the second triangle is yellow in color. Yes, the third triangle is red in color and the fourth triangle is yellow in color. Both of you are correct. Children, all the shapes in this toren are triangles. Keep in mind the colors of the triangles and repeat the color pattern while making this door hanging or toren. Okay, okay ma'am. Ma we, we have understood. understood. Let's get these triangles out and put them in the right order to make this toren. Yes, I will put a red triangle in fifth place and a yellow triangle in sixth place like this. Now let us keep repeating this pattern of triangles, first red and then yellow. Awesome! Both of you have done such a good job with the toren. Thank you ma'am. What do we do next? We need to decorate this board. Okay ma'am. On one corner of the board, we can use big and small circle shapes to make a flower. Next to this flower, I can draw a dia using a semicircle and an oval shape in this manner. Oh wow! Next to it, I'll draw another flower by using one big circle and some small circles. And I will once again draw a dia like this with a semicircle shape and an oval shape. So we will keep repeating the sequence a flower drawn out of circle shapes followed by a dia drawn from a semicircle and an oval shape. Oh yes, this looks like a pattern. Oh lovely, you have made a beautiful pattern. Ma'am, can we decorate the wall with balloons? Absolutely, decorate it. Come on Binny, let us decorate this wall with balloons in sphere shape and oval shape. Yes, here are some yellow balloons in the sphere shape and red balloons in the oval shape. Binny, let's create a special pattern out of these. Yes, let's put one yellow spherical balloon and one red oval balloon like this. Binny, Red spear shaped balloons are more in number. You could make a pattern with one yellow spear shaped balloon followed by two red oval balloons. I feel that will look more beautiful. Okay, one yellow spherical balloon. Then two red oval shaped balloons. Then one yellow spherical balloon and two red oval shaped balloons. Then one yellow spherical balloon and two red oval shaped balloons. Let's continue with the sequence. Oh wow! You have decorated the wall so beautifully with the balloons. 
Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, shall we decorate that door too? Yes, but decorate that also in some special pattern. Yes, ma'am. Winnie, look over there. I can see some decoration materials in the shape of stars and spheres. We can make a toren out of these two shapes to decorate the door. Oh yes, we can make a fantastic pattern with these. How? Oh, we can put a sphere after every two stars, and we can create a beautiful toren by repeating this pattern. Wow! We will make a great toren. We can put two stars and a sphere. On a strong thread like this. Yes, and then we can put two stars and a sphere like this again, and we can continue with this pattern. Yes, and now the toren is complete by repeating this special pattern. The pattern of this toren is really beautiful. Very good. Both of you have decorated the door beautifully. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Ma Children, you have decorated this class beautifully. Ma'am, we, we also, also enjoy, enjoy decorating, decorating with, with different patterns. <laughs> Children, in today's video, you learnt how to make patterns by repeating. A special sequence in which different shapes are organized. In the next video, you will see some interesting examples of special patterns of shapes. Children. In this video, we will learn how to identify special patterns of shapes with some interesting examples. Bini, let me ask you a riddle based on what Ma'am has taught us about patterns. Try to solve this riddle, okay? All right, ask me. In this pattern, which do you think would be the next shape? Oh, that's easy. The next shape in this pattern will be a green-colored circle. Oh, Bini, first of all, look carefully at the shapes placed in the pattern. We have to keep in mind the sequence in which shapes appear. Then understand how the shapes will be repeated to complete the pattern. Yes, you are right. In this pattern, a pink triangle is followed by an orange star, and then appears a green circle, and this pattern is repeated. Yes. So now, please complete the pattern. In this pattern, next shape will be a pink triangle, then an orange star, and then finally a green circle. Very good, Bini. All right, now it's my turn to ask. In the given pattern, which shape will come next? In this pattern, a rectangle and a pentagon have been repeated. Therefore, the next shape in this pattern will be a pentagon followed by a rectangle. Oh, oh, wait! Look carefully. In this pattern, one rectangle is followed by two pentagons, and we need to repeat this pattern. Right. So the next shape in this pattern will be a pentagon. This way, we get a pattern of one rectangle and two pentagons. Yes. Now you are correct. This is fun. Ask me another question. Come on. Complete the pattern that you see here by choosing one of the two options provided. But all these are square shapes. There is no pattern here. Oh, look close.
smoothly. All the squares have dots inside them. Just see? Yes. And the number of dots varies in each square, right? I still do not understand this. Look, Winnie. The first square has one dot and the second has two. Yes. Third square has three and the fourth has four dots. This means that the dots in these squares are in ascending order. So, according to this pattern, the fifth square will have five dots in it, right? Yes, but the pattern may not always be in ascending order. For example, look, here is a pattern of shapes. In this pattern, a seven-sided shape, heptagon, is followed by a six-sided shape, hexagon. Then five-sided shape, pentagon, has been added. And finally, a four-sided shape, square, has been given. Yes, in this pattern, sides of all the shapes are in descending order. So now tell me, in this pattern, which shape will come next? In this pattern, the next shape will be the three-sided shape, triangle. Wow, Bini, well done. You have solved this riddle really well. Alright, let's go now. Okay, let's go. Children, in this video you learned how to identify special patterns of shapes with some interesting examples. In the next video, we will together understand patterns made from numbers and letters.